hot. I'm parked up and I'm actually sitting on a job. It's been about 45 minutes to go, but I just thought, well, I really am not in the mood to work too hard tonight. I've, I've had a sort of a short night Monday. I got a call to come home because Kirst had a um, an angina attack, I think. Anyway, an ambulance was called by the daughter and she's gone to hospital and she's had an invasive procedure thing where they wire up the up the arm and followed the vein through the art uh, the vein through to the heart and that sort of thing. So she's had an angiogram and all checks out sort of okay, but there's a little bit of crud there apparently at the back of the heart, but otherwise it's some abnormalities in the ECG but Anyway, they've got her on a, a nitrile angle if she needs it, and uh, painkillers. And, um, and uh, a beta blocker. So she should be fine. She's not sort of on death's door or anything, but she had a night or two in hospital. And um, I just thought, oh, fuck it, I was tired. And I had a night, oh, well, I had... I had a short night Monday, so I had Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night. I've had three nights at home. And I've had a nice rest, and I feel well rested, and the car is clean and cleaned out and vacuumed, and I'm all ready to rock and roll, as it were. But it's Friday night, and there will be traffic in the city. And I just, disor- just sort of decided that I'm on the outskirts of the city in, um, in uh, Papatoe. Papatoe Toe, otherwise known as Papatutos. Um, and I'm on the outskirts of Auckland, just down the line a bit, and there's an order there. If I can bag it, you know, it might be a uh, $70, $80 trip into Auckland. On the other hand, it could be a $20 trip across Papatoe to Manukau or something. You just don't know, you have no idea. So anyway, I thought, well... I only started about 20 minutes ago, the time I left Pukekohe, and got my chicken snack wrap and my coffee from Maccas. Espresso pronto. So I thought I'd just sit here and drink my coffee and psych myself up for another night of it. But it's Friday, Saturday night. Should be a good night, I hope, and the number of orders I've seen in the system there. Bloody hundreds of them in Auckland, but... I might as well sit here and drive another 10 minutes up there and sit there waiting for one of those orders. Only 10 minutes in it. And if I can get this water, this might be a $1,900 order into town. And um, with a bit of luck, I might be able to bag them for the trip home at the end of the night, if it's a dinner. Uh, and that can often happen. Um, so it just can depend, really. You, you have no idea. I'll say it could be a $20 trip across Papatoe. Uh, problems in the family. The wife's brother, adopted brother, being a pain in the ass again. He's a deadbeat dad, he's an alcoholic, he's a gambler. Ugh, don't want to go there. Stress, families. My two boys are in Australia with their two sons. I've got problems with my second son at the moment. Ah, oh, well. Shit happens. You get on with it. Pay your bills. Stick with your immediate family. Here we are. I'm on my protein kick again. Shave roast beef. <laughs> well, it's still frozen out the freezer, so I shall stick that in here. And that'll be there for, um... Tonight when I have my snack. 100 grams of shade roast beef. I've been nibble on that. That will cut back on some of the burgers. <sighs> Me, well, more chicken snack wraps. Meantime, I've got 42 minutes to go. This job's going to drop in about 12 minutes, I think. Manicow 2. What's the time? drop time on that? We have this card. It tells you the drop times and what cities and what areas are in what area. 20 minutes, okay, so I've got 20 minutes to sit. So I'm going to sit and read. I'm still on my book. Uh, Melt Zone. 
It's, uh, I'm only about a, a quarter of the way through it, but it's about this um, uh, thing that meteorologists have found up in the Antarctic, and they don't know if it's an alien craft or what. We're just going into it, as I say, I'm only about 20% 20, 20 into the book. So, I'll catch you later. Toodaloo for now. Let you know how the night went.